Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. To install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer, Microsoft engineers suggested that you make some changes to the registry at the beginning of the installation, and then perform a successful installation of Windows 11 on a computer or laptop. But since this method is rather complicated for many users, today I will show you how to install Windows 11 on a computer using the simple and free Rufus application. First, we will download the Windows 11 ISO image on the computer. Next, we should download the Rufus application. After that, with the help of Rufus, you need to create a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive, while Rufus will give us very useful options for our USB installation media, and the first here is to remove the requirements for 4GB of RAM, secure boot and TPM checks. These options do not mention compatible processor check for Windows 11, but registry editing will be enabled for that too. That is, now you will not need to edit the registry, Rufus will do all this work for you. And so, connect a USB flash drive of at least 8GB to a computer or laptop, I have already connected it before. I have a 29GB flash drive and that will be enough. We move on to the next step, open the browser and in the search we write, download Windows 11. Or open the description of my video, and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The page of the Microsoft website has opened. Here you can find the details of using Windows 11. To download the Windows 11 ISO file, click here and the media creation tool will download to your computer. Open the file explorer folder then the Downloads folder, and double-click the application icon. I agree to the terms of the license. In this tab, you can uncheck the box, and select any language for the Windows 11 interface. I leave English. Next. In this window, you can choose to download the Windows 11 ISO file or choose to create a bootable USB flash drive, you must choose to download the ISO file. Next. Now I need to choose a location on my computer for the ISO file, I choose the downloads folder. Save. And the process of downloading the ISO file to the computer has begun. Please note that the speed of the process will be determined by the speed specified in your internet contract. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete in order to continue our video tutorial. So, now we see that the ISO file is already on the computer, and the job is done, you just need to click, finish. Okay, now I'm going to download the Rufus app. Open a browser and type in search, download Rufus, or just open the description of my video, and click the direct link on the Rufus download page. Scroll down and click Rufus 44EXE. Nice little file. The application has loaded and the browser can be closed. Open File Explorer, then the folder Downloads and double click on the Rufus icon. And here we are running Rufus. As we can see at the top, Rufus has picked up the USB stick that I have connected to the computer and which it is going to turn into our Windows 11 installation media. Now we need to select our ISO image, so we will go over here, and click, Select. In the Downloads folder is our ISO file that we downloaded earlier. Open. We leave the standard setting. Here you need to select the partition scheme of the C drive where you are going to install Windows, we have two options, MBR and GPT, the C drive on my computer is GPT and that's why in Rufus I choose GPT. You can see how to choose the right partition scheme in my other video, the link is in the description of the video. So, now we just need to click, Start. And that's the really smart part that Rufus gives us very useful options for our installation media. And the first here is the removal of the requirements for 4GB of RAM, secure boot and TPM checks. And underneath that, as you can see, it says an option that is prefixed to remove the requirement for a Microsoft online account, 
and I'll leave that checked because I want to create a local account during this Windows 11 installation. The rest of the options are not interesting to me, but you can select the necessary settings, and when all this is configured, let's click OK. Now make sure we know we are going to delete everything on our USB device. We know it's true, so we'll click OK and we're done. Our Windows 11 installation media will be created with pre-installed hacks for unsupported hardware. And here we are. It's over, so let's close it like this. If you look here, open this computer, and open the contents of the flash drive, and here we already see all the files needed to install Windows 11 on the computer. And so, now we need to restart our computer, and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. The installation menu opens, I click next. Install now. I have a Windows digital license and after installation the computer will be activated automatically, so I click. I do not have a product key. Please note, here I choose Windows 11 Pro, because I previously had Windows 10 Pro installed. If you previously had Windows Home, install Windows 11 Home. This way you keep the Microsoft license. Next. I accept the license agreement. Next. Here I choose not to update, but only to install. In this window, we see all the drives connected to my computer. At the bottom is drive 0 partition 4, my files, and this disk is for storing data. Drive 0 partition 3 is the main drive C, Windows 10 is installed here. The remaining small disks are system partitions that support Windows 10. You can have all the disks under different numbers than me, and this depends on how the disks are connected to the motherboard. To properly install Windows 11, you need to delete all partitions where the old Windows was installed, and if you have a few more drives connected to your computer, like my disk my files, be careful not to accidentally delete your data drives. To delete old Windows partitions, click on the partition, click, delete, click, OK. And do the same for each section. And so, I deleted these three sections, and now I have disk 0 unallocated space 247 gigabytes. Everything is ready to proceed with the installation, and I click, next. The installation of Windows 11 has begun. You will not need to do anything for a while and you can sit back and relax, or have a cup of tea or coffee. During installation, the computer will restart automatically several times. Please, do not turn off your computer. And so, all the necessary Windows 11 files were transferred from the USB flash drive to the computer, and now we need to select the region. Select the keyboard layout. Skip. Here I turn everything off so my computer will run faster. The new Windows 11 welcomes us, just a little time left. Yes. The installation of Windows 11 is complete, which means that Rufus did a great job creating a bootable USB flash drive. I open Settings, then Accounts. 
And here we see that my Windows 11 is running under a local account, James. If you want to sign into a Microsoft account or create a new account, click your info, then click here, and then follow the system's recommendations. Now I need to check how the activation of my new Windows 11 went. To do this, I open system and open the activation tab. In this tab we see that Windows 11 is installed on my computer and it is activated by my digital license, which is stored on the Microsoft website. Now the important question is whether this Windows 11 will receive security updates from Microsoft. I open the update and security window, and here we see that my new Windows 11 is already receiving security updates without problems. And the last thing I want to recommend to you, so that there are no problems in using the new Windows 11, you need to create a login password immediately after installation. To do this, open the account section, then login options. Here open the password tab and click add. In this window, enter your password. Enter your password again. Enter your password confirmation and click next. Click finish. Now my computer is protected and I hope that what I just said could help you and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Have a nice day.